and welcome back to another video on concept bio in this video i'm going to be looking at a question from leninger's uh, uh, chapter 3 question 11 and it is a question that always bothered me so i'm going to be helping out and i found many students found a uh, problem in this question so let's look at it. the question is just calculate the net charge at ph 3 8 and 11 for this polypeptide chain so uh, from my previous video you can check it out over here as a practice what I uh, told is start for this kind of equations so always start by drawing out your terminal groups that's NS3 plus and uh, oh I'm sorry there is no space so I'm going to write it COOH all right so next look at which are the diprotic amino acids what are the diprotic uh, which are the, uh, so what is it we are looking for we are looking for the triprotic amino acids which are the triprotic amino acids triprotic are E D H R K C Y these are your uh, diprotic, uh, triprotic amino acids, the acidic, basic, cysteine and tyrosine. Alright, so look, is glutamic acid, uh, uh, glutamic acid is it a, a triprotic amino acid? Yes, it is. Histidine? Yes. Tryptophan is not a triprotic amino acid. Serine? No. Glycine? No. Leucine? No. Arginine? Yes. Proline? No. And glycine. Now, the reason I'm not transferring glycine out is because it's a terminal group and it's participating in this uh, uh, the solvent interaction. So now this effectively becomes down to glue is nothing but uh, E. So I'm going to write it in short form. Histidine is H, uh, tryptophan, serine, glycine, alginine, arginine, arginine is R and glycine is G. And the COO, H terminal and NS3. The NS3 plus. The reason why I'm cancelling it out is because if you look at a peptide bond, the uh, the alpha the carboxyl group and the amino group uh, condense out to form a peptide bond and they don't participate anymore in the uh, protonation and deprotonation. More I've spoken about in my previous video, you can check it out over there. So now, first we made this structure. Now the next step is to know what kind of R groups each of them contain. If you look at glutamic acid, it has an OH or a COO. So the uh, carboxyl group as a terminal. Histidine has a nitrogen group, NS3+. Plus. Uh, uh, arginine has a group that is again NS3+. Plus. Uh, sorry, plus will come here. And uh, glycine, uh, uh, it is not triprotic, uh, but it's part of the thing that I'm keeping it here. Now, the reason why I'm bringing it down from, uh, from this big structure down to this, I've again sp spoken about the reasoning in this video over here, but the main reason being the carbon bonds in between, like if you look at uh, glutamic acid, it will be, the alpha carbon will be bonded to C double bond O, OH. Now, this carbon bond doesn't participate in this protonation, deprotonation, so we don't have to care about it and directly just write what kind of functional group is present and we can continue our day like that. All right. So now, so we know so much. Now, another thing we have to know is pKa values for all of them. Now, in the Leninger book, what they have provided is they have detail provided the pKa1 of glycine, the pKa2 value of uh, glutamic acid and pKr values of each of them. I'll just write it down uh, right now. Yeah, so the values of pKa1 that they have provided was 2.34. PKA2 was given as 9.67. Uh, for glutamic acid, the PK value was given as 4.25. For uh, histidine, it was given as 6. And for arginine, it was given as 12.45. Uh, I hope you can understand. This is 12.45, this is 6, and this is uh, thing. Okay. So now, what we have to do? We understood so much, right? So now, right on the left hand side, pH equals 3. Assuming this is pH equals 1. Alright. The reason why I made pH equals to 1, from my previous videos I had told, P if pH is less than pKa, protonation occurs. If pH is greater than pKa, deprotonation occurs. If pH is equal to pKa, 50% protonation, 50% deprotonation. Remember this always, without which you can't for, uh, do all the sums. Alright. So now, pH is less than uh, all the pK values. That's why everything is protonated. All right. Now next, I increase my pH to pH equals three. What will happen? E. I'll just draw the stuff. E H R G C O O. I don't know if it'll be protonated or deprotonated. N H two. Wait. I'll just do about that. N H. Wait one minute. Uh, oh, sorry. My bad. This doesn't. Um, I'm really sorry. This doesn't. This has N H two and. Uh, this is COO and this has an NH2. 
3 plus. I'm going to change the color because this is taking up too much space, be confusing. All right. Okay. Now let's look at it. At pH is equal to 3. Is 3 greater than pKa1? Yes, it is. Therefore, deprotonation occurs COO minus. Is 3 greater than 12.45? No, it is not. Therefore, it still remains to be protonated and has 3 plus. Is 3 greater than 6? No, therefore, still protonation occurs and has 3 plus. Is 3 greater than 4.25? No, therefore, protonation occurs. Is 3 greater than uh, the uh, greater than 9.67? No, protonation occurs. Therefore, the net net charge over here will be nothing but minus 1 from the alpha carboxyl. 1, 2, 3, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 from your 3 amino groups that is arginine, histidine and, uh, and here the terminal group. So the charge over here uh, would be, uh, my, uh, this, will, this will be plus 2. So this is the uh, charge at pH equals to 3. So now continue. If I increase my pH now all the way to 8. Alright, again draw all the structures. E, H, R, G, C, O, O. Already we know at 3 it's minus so we can might as well go about it. The NH3 group over here. NH, we just keep it as NH2, we'll wait. NH2, we'll just wait. C, O, O, I don't know what it will be. And NH2, wait, we'll just wait. Now, this is again out of consideration. Let's look. Is 8 greater than 12.45? No, protonation occurs. NS3 plus. Is 8 greater than 6? Yes, it is. Therefore, deprotonation occurs. It remains to be NS2. NS3 becomes NS2. Deprotonation. Is 8 greater than 4.25? Yes, deprotonation occurs. COOH will become COO minus. Is 8 greater than 9.67? No, it remains protonated. NS3 positive. So now what is the net over here? Net will be minus 1 from your alpha carboxyl, plus 1 from this arginine uh, uh, side chain, minus 1 from glutamic acid side chain, and plus 1 from your final amino group over here. That will give you a net charge of 0. So we are kind of near the Zwitter ion stage at pH equals 8. I hope you understood till now. And then finally, if I increase my pH all the way equals 11. So E, H, R, G. COO minus already we crossed the pK so we can write like this uh, arginine's pKa we still don't know so we're looking for this one and has three we are, we are going to write it as NS2 uh, histidine is still uh, yeah histidine is still NS2 because we already crossed its structure COO minus again going to stay because we already crossed its state and NH We'll wait because we still don't know this one and we still don't know this one. This all history and already we crossed its pK in the previous step. So now pH is equal to 11. Is pH 11 greater than 12.45? No. So it's still going to be remaining in its protonated state. NS3 positive. Is pH 11 greater than pKa2 that is 9.67? Yes, it is. Therefore, deprotonation occurs. NH2. Alright. So what does the net charge over here look like? The net charge over here will look like minus 1 from your alpha carboxyl plus 1 from your uh, uh, arginine terminal uh, amino group minus one, 1 from your glutamic acid terminal group and that's all. So that will be equal to minus 2 plus 1 that's equal to minus 1. So your net charge at pH 11 is equal to going to be minus 1. So at 3 it's going to be uh, plus 2 at, uh, a, uh, at 8 it's going to be 0. And at 11, it's going to be minus 1. And this is the answer for the Leninger question. It's simple as that. Just remember, start from pH1 by protonating everything and slowly deprotonate each one as it passes through your pK values. I hope you were able to understand this. Feel free to go about the question again and again and um, ask any questions in the questions down below. This has been Concept Bio. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.